In this video, we're going to take a look at adding and subtracting integers when we're working with several integers in the same problem. Remember, our strategy for subtracting with integers, we simply will change it to adding the opposite of a number. So we're really just adding a bunch of integers. We'll also keep in mind the order of operations with subtraction and addition is done from left to right. So we'll just subtract or add two numbers at a time until we reach the end of the problem. Let's take a look at some examples where we do just that. Negative 7 minus negative 4 plus 6 minus 5 minus 9 minus negative 9. Starting with the first two numbers, we're going to not do subtraction, but instead add the opposite of negative 4, which is positive 4. We now have a negative 7 plus positive 4, and we see the different signs. The negative is bigger, and to find out how much bigger, we subtract 7 minus 4 to get 3. The rest of the problem is still the same. Plus 6, minus 5, minus negative 9. Now we have negative 3 plus 6. It's already addition, so we can simply add them using our pattern for different signs. The positive 6 is bigger, so our answer is positive, and we subtract 6 minus 3 to get 3. The rest of the problem is still minus 5, minus negative 9. We now have 3 minus 5, and again, we don't like to subtract, so instead we will add the opposite of 5, which is negative 5. A positive 3 and negative 5, the negative is bigger. 5 minus 3 is 2, we get negative 2. And the rest of the problem is still minus negative 9. Finally, our last two together, Again, we don't like to subtract, so we will add the opposite of negative 9 is positive 9. Negative 2 plus positive 9, the positive is bigger, and when we subtract 9 minus 2, we get 7, positive 7 for our final solution. The positive is not really needed, we could just say the answer is 7. Let's try one more example, where we work from left to right, changing our subtractions, into addition. Here we have 7 minus 3, minus negative 2, minus 5, plus negative 4. Starting with 7 minus 3, we don't like to subtract, so we will add the opposite of 3, which is negative 3, and we see that the positive 7 is bigger by 4. The rest of the problem still reads minus negative 2, minus 5, plus negative 4. The next pair of numbers are 4 minus negative 2. Again, we don't like the subtraction, so we will add the opposite of negative 2, which is positive 2. And we see we're really adding the positives, 4 plus 2, which we know is 6. Adding the numbers and keeping the sign, because they're both positive. The rest of the problem still reads minus 5, plus negative 4. To do 6 minus 5, we don't like to do the subtraction, so we will add the opposite of 5, which is a negative 5. Again, we've got a positive and a negative, different signs, so the bigger number, the positive, keeps the sign, and we subtract the numbers 6 minus 5 to get 1. The rest of the problem still reads plus negative 4, and we're ready to finish the problem by combining the 1 plus negative 4. Again, we have different signs, so the larger 1, the negative, keeps the sign, and we subtract 4 minus 1 to get 3, or negative 3 for our final solution. Working left to right, remembering that subtraction is really adding the opposite, we can combine our problem using just our addition rules. If the signs are the same, we keep the sign and add the numbers. If the signs are different, we take the sign from the larger number and subtract the numbers to get our final solution. 